Hello guys, today I'm playing The Last Spell, a pretty cool strategy game that's still in early access. As you saw in the title, I will be showing you how to build up your gold economy, so you won't have to miss out on the good items in the store. After defeating Knight 1, you will get 100 gold if none of the enemies reached and attacked your little ruined town. So the first thing you will want to do is place a gold mine. You will have to unlock the gold mine for this to work, so be sure to gather that 1000 gold to unlock it. After you place it down, you will want to upgrade the production and mine right away. Don't mine first and then upgrade. Next, you have to upgrade the mine so you can mine it twice a day. Just by upgrading it and mining, you will get your investment back. Now after defeating Knight 2, you will get 110 gold. Gold you will invest back into the mine. So now you have to upgrade the production again. After mining the mine twice, you will have some extra gold, don't spend it all, but you can spend some if you want a better weapon from the shop or maybe armor. After defeating Knight 3, you will get 130 gold and on this day you will start making some nice gold after upgrading production and mining again. You can spend all of the gold you have if your characters are struggling to defeat the enemies so buy some more armor or weapons but if not just upgrade the mine again and mine. Knight 4 gold is quite nice as now it's 180 for successful defense. Now watch as you earn 110 gold and mine another 165. What I like doing on this day is to build the sea as the fog is really close and I want to push it back a bit. Now since you have so much gold you can do one of three things. Go on a shopping spree, start making production or start another gold mine to double your gold per day. Even without doubling your gold production, you will be able to buy enough weapons and the extra 3 heroes from the tower. Don't forget to build houses and get at least 10 workers. Some people destroy the ruins so in case an enemy sneaks in, they have nothing to attack behind the walls. But I prefer to farm the material out of them so I can build as many small ballistas costing only 60 materials. They can be helpful. As you can see here, if you have a hero with a sword and the annoying winged get to the other side floating on top of the water, just use a skill that will move you to that other side of the water, heal them quickly and get back to the main defense position. When it comes to combat, sometimes just hitting enemies can be better than to finish off a few low HP enemies as when they lose around half of their HP, they will gain minus one move points as you can see on the splitter and the really hurt enemies will get minus 40% damage, minus two move points and minus two panic when they are in the town so you focus on the enemies with higher hp as an enemy with two move points can't do much especially if it's far from the wall another thing to keep in mind is that when you're done shopping you can upgrade the shop to reset the items that are being sold And of course, I'll get two epics after saying that. No. Thanks for watching this the last spell quick video. Hope it was helpful.